Hey, good morning, everybody. Sunday message. So today's message uh, I'm going to share with you is something really special. I've I've never I've never taken and shared this message uh, message with anybody, but it's uh, I'm a little emotional today. So if I stumble a little bit, uh, I apologize. So um, Bill Bartell, uh, one of my earliest, really my first mentor, the entire Bartell family. He taught me this one saying. I want you guys to, to write this down, okay? I want you to write this down. Is overworking underthinking. And what Bill told me one day, I was probably about 15 or 16 years old. He goes, you know, Rennie, a lot of people out there are over out there just working hard, going at it, and I have such respect for that. And he says, but what happened in my life, in my entrepreneurial life, my journey is that when you're overworking is you're underthinking about what's really important. He went on to tell me that, you know, that you can take and build a couple different types of, of businesses. Is you can build a business that's a really high paying, secure job that only you have the say in, in how successful you're gonna be or not be. And so basically you build yourself a job is what was he telling me. And he says, and, and unfortunately a lot of people get into their businesses when they start a business and they work really hard and he goes and it does take that and i'm saying this right now i'm not saying it doesn't take hard work at the end of this but what i am saying is that what bill is trying to get across to me is overworking underthinking when you put yourself in a position to where all you're doing is working 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 you might think that you're thinking but are you really thinking at the the capability that you've you totally have are you at your maximum potential of thinking are you at your your maximum creativeness and the answer is no from my own perspective is that when you're out there and you're grinding it out 40 50 60 70 hours a week uh, in your business with with your hands on the tools and you're staying busy and you're paying the bills it's great I remember those days but but what what really Bill was saying was is that build a lifestyle not just a business you need to learn to delegate, even if it's only one person. He says, you know, one of my favorite businesses is when I had me and one other person. And he says, I could delegate, teach, mentor, coach, pay more, and watch them build a life. And eventually they'd leave me to go start out their own. And he says, but during that time, I had more time with my family. I had more time to build my business, to build my credibility to build trust within customers. And he says, then I went on to building others. And he says, you see, Rennie, when you're a business owner, really what you are is you're a people builder. And he says, you've got to build people up. Get to the point to where you're able to take and build people up. Get to the point where you're trusting enough to delegate. Not just a, a don't just hire for a job, hire for a career. Now there's gonna be people that just fill in the blanks, right? And they go and come. But you know what, in small business, I, I really don't think so. I think that you can take and build somebody up to where it's a lifetime business for them if they want to. It's a lifetime career if they want to. Is hire on somebody that's your right hand. Find somebody that you can delegate to so that you're not overworking and underthinking. Allow them to do the heavy work while you're doing the thinking part of the business. And you know, a lot of people don't realize how important that is. That that taking and having that, that, that free time to free your mind up, of getting all the junk out of your mind. You know, we've, we've got the capacity to take only so much on. And when we fill ourselves with a bunch of emotional or useless or just hard work, is that we're really not even going to come close to what our, our, our opportunity is bringing to us. So don't just build a job, build a life. Also, Bill took, and he, he always taught me, and I'll never forget this, he used a little different words. Uh, I'll go PG today, is he says, remember this, Rennie, that we don't own things. Things own us, unless you own those things outright. And, you know, Bill came up, he was a, a uh, he was an Airborne Ranger of World War II, um, soldier, entrepreneur, a father, the entire Bartell family, built this straggly street rat kid up into something that I am today. And on Thursday, we lost Bill. So I wanted to take and share today is, you know, Bill, you're with me, you always will be. You've built me into the man I am, your entire family did. Um, your son, Steve, 
you know, went before you. You're with him now. Uh, your daughter, Becky, dear to my heart, Winnie, your wife. But you know what? All of you taught me something. Overworking, underthinking. All you do is minimize your effect. So, guys, gals, get out there today. Think about how you can delegate. Even if you don't have, I know we're at kind of crisis time or maybe things look a little dicey with the economy. Maybe you're just starting out. But there's a lot of things that you can delegate out. Your finances, your bookkeeping, you know, definitely your CPA, uh, all that type of things that will free up and allow you to build that life that Bill was teaching me to build as a very young man. And I've really stumbled. I always haven't done there. But the one thing I've always done is I've always been able to delegate and stop overworking and start overthinking. A lot of times I take it to the extreme the other way. But hey, I wanted to take and bring this to you. We just lost Bill. It's not a sad day, it's a happy day. And thanks, I can see the condolences. Is that he was well up in his years. He lived a great life. It will never be enough for me. I couldn't get enough of the man. Um, but you know what? I'm blessed to have had him in my life. Uh, he told me that he was blessed to have me in his life. Uh, he taught me so much. And I hope Bill's message to me that I'm conveying through my, through my mouth today to you is stop overworking and underthinking. Get busy building your business up. Start delegating some of those chores. Start building a business that's going to allow you to buy a home, that's going to buy, allow you to buy investment property, It's going to allow you to take those vacations. It's going to allow you to get your kids, your grandkids, your parents to live better than what you've lived. But you can't do that if you take and minimize yourself, so don't do it. Again, uh, Bill, rest in peace, buddy. Uh, I'll be with you soon enough, soldier. And uh, I, I, I love you with all my heart. Thanks for putting this on my heart last night to share this. I hadn't thought about this overworking, underthinking in a long time. And I think it's a great way, and I hope a lot of you relate to it. I certainly did when I was, uh, when I was young in business, and it's made me rethink things even today. So, guys, go out. Have a great uh, – we're, we're less than two weeks away from Christmas at the filming of this. I just had a great five-day training here. Um, it's been such a wonderful year. For all those that I've come in contact with, thank you so much. And uh, Bill, I love you. Take care, guys.